Okay, today I am going to show you how to make a moss terrarium and this is a great activity to do with your kiddos. We have been learning about botany and we've all kind of been fascinated with moss. So my children wanted to learn more about moss and as we were looking for videos about moss on the internet, we saw some people who were making moss terrariums so we thought that would be really fun. So of course the first thing you're going to need is some moss. We are lucky enough to have lots of moss in our backyard and so I just went and found some different mosses in our backyard. If you don't have any in your yard, um, you can always go like on a trail or a park and you're likely to find some there. You know, sometimes it's hiding underneath dry leaves. It likes really shady, moist environments. So yeah, go find some moss. This is growing on a stump. We've got some growing in the dirt. We've got all different kinds here and it's good to get those different textures and colors. Now this is moss too and this is in its sporophyte form and we've got a great song here at the end of the video to help you guys learn some scientific moss terms like bryophyte and sporophyte and gametophyte and rhizoids and all kinds of stuff. Okay, here are some tools you'll need. Some tools to help move stuff around if you're using a jar. Um, you can use chopsticks, you can use a long spoon, you can use those long tweezers if you have them. Those are for my aquarium that I have um, to plant my aquarium plants. Okay, and then you're going to need something to go in the bottom. And this can be rocks, it can be shells, it can be glass beads, it can be aquarium gravel. And of course you're going to need some dirt, some kind of soil, and then something to go in between the dirt and the, the bottom layer so that the dirt doesn't mix up with it and get all muddy. Um, and then some decorations, rocks and sticks and wood. Um, you can also use dried flower petals. And of course, then we have our lovely moss that we harvested just here waiting to get put in our terrarium. No, hit the ground if I drop so down. first things first, get your container and fill the bottom with your chosen medium. I'm just using river rocks here that I bought. They were super cheap, like a dollar per bag. Um, my kids use shells. You can also use lots of different stuff. And then you need to put a layer to go between those rocks and the dirt so that it doesn't make a muddy mess. Um, we used this this time. Um, last time we did it, we used some little plastic barriers because we had those. Okay, so then we're going to put the dirt on top of that. Just get it in there. Spread it around. You don't need a lot of dirt, of course, for moss. They don't, moss doesn't need much dirt doesn't even have roots. It has rhiz rhizoids. Okay, then you're going to put in your decorations. So I had this cool piece of driftwood here, but it was a little too tall. I tried to shove it down in there real tight and it still wasn't fitting with the lid. So I had to take it out and I had to actually cut the bottom, which was more difficult than it, you would think. <laughs> but I finally got it trimmed and it was the perfect size. Ta-da! So once you're happy with how it looks, you can start planting your moss. The moss is super easy to plant. You just kind of press it into the dirt. I think it looks really cool to put some moss up on your wood, especially these cool little sporophytes here. But you also have to be careful. If you let the wood dry out, then your moss will die. So you got to make sure that wood stays wet. Um, also with that though, it might start to grow mold. So I recommend before putting the moss on it, um, you bleach the wood and then let it dry out for a few days. Um, either that or boil it. Just make sure there are no little mold spores that can start growing and ruin your beautiful terrarium.
So once you are finished with your moss creation, make sure you mist it really well and keep a cover on it. Um, we had some that we didn't keep covers on and they dry out really fast. So if you don't have a lid or a cover, you're going to have to mist it every day, um, maybe twice a day. Yes, I do. It's my favorite bryophyte. I love moss. Yes, I do. It's even for Mr. Man of Fight. But when it's time to make some sports, it has a very different form. And that's why it's a sport. Oh.